Hello, welcome back to Group 9's third episode of Scales of Justice for our group project. This episode is titled Case 3, The Strange and Peculiar Actions of Guilt, and we hope you enjoy it. Our episode begins where episode 2 left off. Our hero and protagonist, Noble, has learned that the creator and top lawyer at Scales of Justice, Gerwin Gilt, was the one who was responsible for stealing the evidence way back in episode 1. Why would he do this? Why would he sabotage one of his fellow lawyers? Let's watch and find out. Great, now I've gone and screwed things up real good this time. Why will Gilt take the evidence from my case? Was he trying to sabotage me? Was he trying to motivate me? Why is he keeping it a secret? If I confront him, worst case, I get fired. Best case, I get scolded. Ah, uh, what do I do? What do I do? Maybe if I think about why I joined the Scales of Justice firm, I'll be able to figure out this dilemma. This fir the firm has always stood for ethics, integrity, structure, and teamwork. Guilt has violated all of these principles and let the firm down. The best course of action would be take this to Jennifer. She would know how to handle the situation. So as you can see, the situation is complicated, and I'm unsure how to proceed. I, I just don't want to lose my job at the firm. I've waited so long to reach this part in my career, and I want to keep being able to help people. Can you? Is there anything you can help do to help me, Justice? This does seem like a difficult problem, Noble. Guilt's actions have caused a critical incident which could negatively affect the firm. You have my word I will address this problem personally. I assure you that your job security will not come into question. And that concludes this week's episode of Scales of Justice. In this episode, we saw Noble handle concepts of organizational structure and critical incidents in the workplace. What will Jennifer say when she confronts guilt? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs>